everyone, I'm Diane and welcome to my watercolour studio. Today we're going to have a go at painting some really easy watercolour feathers. If you thought watercolour feathers were difficult, you're about to find out just how easy they can be. And they're such a great thing to learn how to paint with endless possibilities for gifts and cards and all sorts of decorative items for the house. Just before we start I thought it would be a good idea to have a look at some real feathers and to notice the one thing they all have in common is a very distinct shaft running through the middle of the feather from the bottom where it joins onto the bird all the way up to the top the end of the veins and this part is very clear very distinctive in most feathers so that's an important thing when it comes to doing the drawing. So we'll start our quick sketch by just drawing in that shaft, a slightly curved line down the center of the paper, and then sketching in a rough oval, a little bit wider perhaps on one side than the other, and maybe showing some of those gaps in the veins which are so typical of a feather. And now we're going to wet the inside of the area which is going to become the feather uh, just with plain water just to dampen it and then I'm going to drop in a very light wash in this case this is raw sienna and keeping away from the center vein just reserving the whites there for later. The second wash is going to be uh, raw, raw umber and raw sienna and I'm dropping those colours into the still damp wash and now I'm coming in with a smaller brush with, with the brown again and emphasising the edges where if you look at the original painting you'll see that the edges are a little bit darker and just building up layers of different shades of brown on the feather as I go along. Being careful to control the amount of water that I'm putting into the, to the feather, keeping the paint reasonably strong, reasonably thick consistency but not thick, just not full of water and still keeping away from the centre shaft there. using a little bit of the dark burnt umber at the bottom to indicate the, the part of the shaft which joins onto the bird. Softening that a little. If you look at a real feather you'll see that at the bottom of the of the veins around the shaft area there's often very fluffy little um, light colored fluffy bits of feather there and now I'm going in with a very very light wash a small pointed brush and some delicate strokes just to randomly indicate those feathery bits at the bottom of the feather itself. And now I'm going to, using my big brush, pick up some dilute brown and just do a little bit of spatter around the feather. And if I was 
painting this feather as part of a larger work, for example, making a garland or using it to paint a bookmark, something like that, I might stop here and not add any more colour because this is perfectly okay as it is. But for the purposes of this uh, tutorial, I'm going to carry on a bit further and intensify some of the colours and some of the strokes. Now I've let the first steps dry and I'm coming in with some light brown on my small brush and again adding to the fluffy bits at the bottom of the feather just to give that really delicate fluffy effect. Another thing that you can do, which is good for indicating the feather depth, is to come in with some designer's gouache in white, and just in some of the places where you might have lost the white of the paper, say for example along the shaft, like that, and to indicate uneven and shiny parts of the feather, you can just drop in a few strokes of white gouache. Remembering that as gouache dries it loses its brightness and whiteness so you may have to go over it more than once. to come in with some more burnt sienna and strengthen some of the tones of the darker parts of the feather with a basically with a final wash of color over the layers of wash that have been built up underneath this gives a lot more interest to the painting than just having a simple wet in wet wash Always remembering, of course, that the colour dries significantly lighter than it appears when you first put it on your painting. And it's important to try to bear that in mind. It can be hard to judge sometimes. It's a little bit of um, designer's gouache white going in there to soften some of the colours. And I'm going to do a little bit of spatter with white gouache mixed with a little bit of uh, burnt sienna. 
and this will also um, dry lighter and become less obvious once it's actually all settled, settled down. And there we are. And here's the finished painting of a feather. I hope you enjoyed learning how to paint feathers. As you can see, there's lots of different ways that you can do this. And there's some examples here. So please hit like and subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you back here again soon for the next tutorial. Bye for now.